Getting started with the Azure portal is the easiest way to get started learning Azure. But that is not useful for automation scenarios. So we have the Azure CLI, where we can write scripts that will automate the deployment of resources and configuration of resources in Azure. But even with the Azure CLI, it still have its own limitations because it's a little bit hard to follow the changes made by the different commands and to understand what is the state of my current system. I need to go to the Azure portal to, to, to understand what are the resources that were created and what are their configuration because those command lines, uh, they will run one after the other and each command might change a configuration onto that service. So it's a little bit hard to follow those changes. Luckily, we have another tool that is more useful for those kind of scenarios, which are the ARM templates, the Azure Resource Manager templates. Those templates are JSON files that, where we can uh, configure and uh, put the resources we want to create. We describe them into a JSON file and then we uh, put all the configuration on those files. So if I want to create a web app, I would create a resource called a web app and then inside that the block of JSON, I would put the configuration of my web app. So if anytime I want to change the configuration of my web app, I go to that same JSON file and change from that configuration there. And because it's a file, so I can source control it into my Git repository and I can have my team members collaborate together to edit uh, that file and to uh, create pull requests in order to validate the changes that should be made to our infrastructure. And another advantage is that we can also uh, have all the history of our infrastructure that were deployed. So that makes it a little bit easier to uh, do a re to do a reverse back. Let's learn how these ARM templates works and let's learn in this video how to deploy an ARM template using the Azure CLI. So let's get started. Here I have a sample ARM template that will go to deploy an Azure app service and also an app service plan. And we have some variables and some parameters that we need to configure like the web app name, the SKU we want to use, the location of the services and some uh, variables for naming. And we have here the configuration of these resources, whether that is the name, location, SKU, the kind, and for the app service also its own uh, configurations. We can create the same resource using the Azure uh, portal. If we go here to web app, then we can go to create that using the Azure portal, uh, which is a visual way for creating these resources. And that is the easiest way to get started. We can do also the same thing using the Azure CLI or the Azure command line with the commands az web app create. And a third option would be to use the ARM templates, which is which are the native way how Azure deploys resources. So let's get started. So for the demo, I can either use my own Azure Power or my own PowerShell client or shell client from my own machine, or we can also use the cloud shell. If I go to click on this button right here on the from the Azure cloud, I'll get here an access to a bash or a PowerShell. So you use whatever you want from here. And here actually we have the AZ um, Azure command line already installed and we are already connected to uh, this subscription. So if I go to here, say AZ account uh, list dash O table, then I would see, oops, if I write that correctly, uh, dash O table, I would see my Azure subscription already configured right here. Let's go to uh, deploy the ARM template from here. So I need to have the ARM template in this uh, workspace. The way to do that actually is by uploading that file into here. So let me guide you on how to do that. So if I type here LS, I will that will show me the folders inside this uh, uh, this workspace that is actually linked to an Azure file share from my subscription. And into that file share, I can also write some other files. So what I'm gonna do here is that I go to clone the GitHub repository where I have this uh, uh, demo, which is this GitHub repository right here. So I go to copy the link, or this link right here, and then I go to say git clone. So we have git also installed in this uh, command line. So if I go here, once it's closed, cloned, now I can see it right here. So I go to CD into the Azure bicep course. And from there, I will see my different uh, folders from here. 
let's uh, go to say here uh, or let's go inside the folder that is 01 and then the arm template and from there actually we have two files one which is the json arm template if i go here to say uh, code dot which is the same as running this uh, or clicking this button right here to open the editor if i click this here it will show me the editor online and here i can see my rm template that i'm gonna deploy so in this rm template actually would create some parameters it will generate the default value for the web app which is gonna be a resource group dot id unique string so this will generate a random uh, string right there and then we have that configuration let's go now to deploy this uh, arm uh, template an arm template could be deployed either into a management group or into a subscription or into a resource group in this demo today i'll deploy it into a resource group so first i need to go to create a new resource group so for that i'll use here the command az group create and then provide a name and a location for that resource group once that resource group is created now i can go to preview or to deploy the uh, rm template but before that what you can do is that i can go to preview the changes that will be made by the, by that rm template so i can do that actually by using this command right here which is az deployment group what if so what if is the command we use to preview these changes let's go to run that this will take a few seconds and then it will preview the changes. And here at the end shows me the resource changes are two resources to be created, which are the Azure Web App resource and then the App Service plan with their respective configurations. Great, once we are happy with that, now we can go to deploy this Arm template. So we reuse the same command, but we just change here the uh, command instead of what if. Now we use AZ deployment group create. I want to create or deploy this Arm template into the resource group that I have provided earlier. And then I specify the uh, path for my JSON template and then the parameters that I want to override. So note here, I'm overriding the web app name because instead of uh, uh, generating a value for that, I want to here specify a specific value for this one. And yeah, once that's done successfully, from here now I can go to search for the resources created by this ARM template. So I can go here to say, please show me the resources deployed inside this resource group. So if I type here AZ group or actually AZ resources, resource list dash G from this resource group and I want to output them into a table format. Then it shows me here the two resources created by that Arm template. And I can check that also from the Azure um, portal. If I go to search for resource groups, I would find a resource group here with the name that contains Arm, RG Arm. And here I, I can see my two resources. And the same way as we have created the resource, you can also go to delete that uh, uh, deployment either by de deleting that, uh, deploy that the resources created by the ARM template or deleting the entire resource group. And by the way here, uh, we can actually export the resource uh, or export the ARM template that were that did create these resource groups. If we go here to the resource group or to each resource itself you can go to say export template and this will help you to export templates for existing resources if you have created resources without using the uh, arm template for example using the azure cli or the azure portal you can reverse engineer the uh, resources and you can go to say export template and this will take just a few seconds to regenerate that template for you with its parameters and variables and yeah here it is the exported uh, arm template for my resources we can go to download it, save it into a library or redeploy it into Azure. The commands and the scripts I used in this demo are available on this GitHub repository. So if you go to here, you will find the simple commands that we have used today. Thank you.